You know when you've been playing a game for 20 odd years, you would think you would know the basics and be able to spot when you're making rookie mistakes, right? Not this guy. Let's get into episode 3 of Homeless to Hero and I'll tell you all about it. Hello people, it is me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video and you join me on the squad screen and this screen should look pretty normal to most of you watching but there's been a big change in between the last episode and this one because as you might remember from the last episode we only had two proper full players like they had they were all proper like their names were all white we could click on them we could train them we could do everything but as you will see now uh, everyone is like that and that is because after playing for a little bit the other night I had a brainwave and I was offering somebody a contract and uh, I don't think it went through, but after I offered that contract, I went, oh, I could offer all my greyed out players a contract. So, finally, we've got everybody as a proper, a proper human, a live player, being noticed by journalists. Our last press conference was hilarious because they thought that nine or ten of our players were all debutants. When they wasn't, they'd played in every other game. But just for some reason, the journos just thought, oh, these are all new. And they all, all had a collective brain fart and completely forgot that they'd seen them all play the week before. So, yeah, that was interesting. And so, as you can see... All our players that we that we have now signed to contracts, they've all only made one appearance, apparently. Again, despite playing all those games, you can tell who the two who were on contracts before were. Gaber Salem and Hossam Abdul Wahab and all these others. We've offered them all deals. I'm not quite sure what the contract situation is. I don't think we're paying these any actual wages. We're not. We're just giving them all appearance fees. So that on non-contracts, they might get nicked at some point if they do perform well. And speaking of performing well, we have had one surprise star out of all those previously greyed out players. And that star is this guy. Amar Rayouf, and you can see I've given him one of Laura's faces, and of course we can't tell anything about his attributes, and it does say here that he's only scored one goal and made one assist. That is wrong. That is very, very wrong, and what he's actually done is he's scored seven goals in 12 competitive appearances, and if we have a look at the schedule, I think he also got a hat-trick in a friendly recently. Yes, he did. Against Sabab Abisue, he got himself a hat-trick. So he is looking like a very, very good player. And so, if we just catch up on the results since the last episode, I have played one or two games more than I was expecting to. But as you can see, it got to the point where I was desperate to get a win and I just couldn't stop until I did get that win thankfully we have now got it but it's taken us since the last episode uh one two three four five we're not counting that because that's a friendly six seven eight nine yeah eight games we went all competitively without getting a win you can see we added in the two friendlies just to try and get confidence up. And on the second attempt, it worked. But can you tell when I realised, when I realised to add all the contracts? 
Yep, right before that Sabine Republic game. That was the first one with everyone training properly and everyone all working well together. So, yeah, it's not been great. We've not been playing badly. We've just not had the luck or we've just not had the fitness to try and see out games and to try and get points. But Amar Rayouf got a hat-trick in this one here against the other Suez FC team. And you can see we was 2-1. We was 2-0 down and we got it back to 2-1. They made it 3-1. And then we got it back in the 73rd minute. Amar Rayouf coming off the bench, I think he did. Yeah, he did. To grab us back at that point. And that was the point when I went, you know what? He might be a little bit special. And so, yep, that is all our results. That means that we are 14th in the league. We're playing against Al Nazir. Uh, today who are three places above us if we win we'll go level on points with them and just before we do get into that i do just want to show you guys the finances at this club because yeah not good we are currently on fourteen thousand pound of overall balance so far this month four days into this month we have lost five pounds no idea where. I might have a look somewhere in this room. See if I can find it. You never know. It might be down the back of the sofa. But yeah. And if we go into the inbox. Monthly financial update for last month. We lost 12 grand. So that would imply that by the end of this month. We're going to be very, very close to being out of out of money so any chance of getting a coaching badge anytime soon does not look good but with all that said let's get into today's game let's go tactics and i shall be back with you in a second when i've chosen the team this is the team that we're going with for today it's a 4-4-1-1 it worked quite well for us in our last game against sabine so you never know might be able to get another win here that would be very nice and so we've got Sabre in goal, El Maturi on the left, Nabil on the right, Fahim and Haney are our two centre-backs today. And then on the left, we've got Rida, Nassar on the right, Abdul Wahab and our new signing, Belibi, our only signing we've made so far. He comes in, he's going to be making his second appearance today. He's 18 years old, Cameroonian. And we are paying him £200 per appearance. So, yeah, he needs to be good. And from the little we can see here, yellow means he must have quite decent attributes for first touch. Passing, technique, decisions, flair and all this physical stuff as well. We've signed him after he got released by Bazak Shakir in Turkey. So, you never know. He's come through He's come through the Andelect Academy. So, he could be decent. Let's hope he is. Might have another look at him in the next episode if he does impress. And so, up front, we've got Abu Musalem. And we've got, of course, the star man, Rayouf, up front. But a little bit worryingly, we've only got five subs. Because Gaber Salem, our central midfielder, is injured. So, well not injured, he's suspended, sorry. So yeah, that's a little bit of a concern, but let's get into the game. Ah, okay. We're not going to be getting a game just yet, because our pitch is waterlogged. So it's been postponed for 10 days, I think it is. Yeah, 10 days it's been postponed for. Ah, that's not good. Oh well, alright then. See you guys in a second when we might finally get to play this game. Finally, here we are on game day, 
But just before we do get into the game, I do just want to show off these kits that I've had made for Coca-Cola FC. I've had them made by Ball Winning FM, and I think you can see he's done a very beautiful job on the pair of them. So I'm going to drop his Twitter link into my description. And if you want any kits made for yourself, go and hit him up on Twitter. He does a very, very good job. And as well as that, I've had this custom badge made as well by the Tarantino. Again, I'll drop his Twitter into the description. And then you can get some made for yourself for your own saves. And so, yep... Now let's get into the game, there's been no change to the team, no injuries, no anything like that. So right now we are good, and so let's finally get into today's game. Okay, here we are in the dressing room. I'm going to go pump me fists, and I'm going to go... Uh, yeah, apparently we're huge underdogs. The media have said that we face the impossible. Despite these only being three places and three points above us. So, yeah. I think I'm going to try and use that to my advantage. Uh, let's go and cause an upset. No, it's a no. Yeah, let's go and cause an upset. No reaction after all that deliberation. Brilliant. First highlight of the game. And it's it did look like it was for us. We are playing in the white. Because we are the away side. But Al Nasri clear the ball long. We get it back. It's all long ball football. Our man's offside there. And well, not much of a highlight that, was it? Now, 30 seconds later, it's the home side with the corner ball. They cross it in and it's in the back of the net. Amir Saeed with the goal. And well, that was a little too easy, wasn't it? A simple corner goal we've conceded there. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Yeah. Saeed got away from his man and got the header in rather nicely. But immediately following that, we have got the ball on a highlight. And we're not on full match, are we? No, we want extended. You know what? Let's go key. And now Abu Mosalem plays the ball forward to Rayouf. Back to Wahab. And now what is Wahab going to do with the ball? Goes out wide, goes back to him. Abdul Wahab into Belibi. He tries to go over the top and Reed is unable to get onto it. As now Al Nasri have the ball again. And again they've gone long, but to absolutely nobody, thank God. And it's all very Sunday league. Just hump it and lump it and hope, in it. And now Al Nasri coming forward again. Abdul Al, he's into the box. He's gone for the shot. And our keeper thankfully manages to push it over the bar. As now Al Nasri going to take this corner kick from the left hand side. Are we going to be falling even further behind? You would hope not as we have got the ball away. And now Wahab for them. We've got an Abdul Wahab and so have they. Almost 20 minutes gone now. And it's Al Nasri with it. Adol with the ball. Back to Saeed. And Saeed's done our man there. He's going to cut onto the left-hand side. He's gone inside and it's 2-0. Ahmed Abded Al with his 12th of the season apparently. And ah, oh, this is not good. This is not good, lads. As we have another look at this. Saeed with a very nice cross here. I think it was. Yeah, it was. And Abdul Al just got in behind our defence and 2-0 down. Please let us get back into this. Oh, are they saying this might have been offside? No, he was a mile on. Even I knew he was onside before that. 35 minutes gone now. And again, we've just lumped the ball forward, but Rayouf's not been able to get onto it. And now we're again playing it forward. And again, why are we lumping it forward all the time? Rayouf is never going to win against these lads. As now Saeed goes long and Adele gets it. Back to Allah. Into Nasser. And back to their Abdul Wahab who does go over the top but thankfully only to our keeper Sabre. And now what can he do? Has he got the force? Can he go long with this? He does. 
And wow, quality in this team, boys. Quality in this team. As now, Galau into Solis. And they go long and out. Back to Nasa. We're just, we're just letting them have the ball. Al Dawi. Al Dawi with a long shot and it's off the post. It's hit our keeper, but thankfully Haney manages to clear it out for a corner ball. And you can see we've only had 43% of possession. This is not good. As now Saeed with a header and that goes wide and it remains at 2 0 for the time being. As actually, I'm going to make some early tactical changes. Okay, we're not making any substitutes, but we have just changed a few of our instructions. We're now playing through the middle, not looking for any overlaps. We're still hitting early crosses, but we're trying to run at them and be more expressive. And we're going for standard passing rather than the long ball that we was going for that just was not working. We've dropped our defensive line down a little bit. That's the one I'm not sure on, but we'll see how it goes for the time being and see what it does for us. And we're distributing the ball to the playmaker rather than the target man. Because Amar Rayouf is not a six foot guy as far as I remember. No, he's 5'10". So a target man, he is not. So let's just see how we get on. And let's go confirm those changes. Well, those changes have had no effect yet, as it's now half time. Uh, the home side, Al Nasri, have had 9 shots to our 12, 4 on target to our 1, a much, much better XG, 0.93 to our 0.13. They've dominated possession. We've only completed 64% of our passes. I'm changing that now. We're going short of passing, just to try and keep hold of the ball. And yeah, that's how we're going to leave it. We're going to go low crosses as well. And let's get into the dressing room. And I'm going to go hands on hips. I expect to see a much better sewing. A few people are motivated. A few of them are motivated. And so let's go start the second half. Come on, lads. A point would be very, very nice at least here. And it's all Al Nasri with the first highlight of the second half. Adol with it, crosses it in, goes to El Nasir. He goes for the long shot and that's thankfully over the bar. As all, oh, we've got a highlight, we've crossed it in. It's gone to our man and Abdul Wahab, our Abdul Wahab with the header. But it gets saved by Galau. And now, are they going to do something in this highlight? They are, they've kicked it long and our defence, we've got five men round him. That's far too easy. Oh, this Egyptian trip is not proving to be as much fun as what I thought it was, lads. Oh, my days. Just simple, simple, simple long ball. Nobody closed him down, despite me having pressing on Extremely Urgent. No idea. Well, immediately following this, again, we've got a highlight. Fay him with it. And again, he goes long. I've told these not to. But, oh, nope, we can't get the ball back there. Al Dawi. Al Dawi with the ball goes to Abdul Al. He plays it into space for Allah. And what is Allah going to do? Al Dawi's got it back on the right hand side. He crosses it in and, oh, I thought that was going to be four. Lots and lots of highlights in this game as we have a free kick and Abdul Wahab puts it wide. Okay, half an hour left to go. We're making one sub. We're bringing on Rami El Saik for Abu Moselem. He's coming on as a pressing forward. And we're, pr and we're pressing our two wingers a little bit higher up. So we can try and do something in this game. No idea what, but you never ever know. Let's go inside forward, let's go attack. And yep, confirm those changes. 67 minutes gone, Abdul Wahab with the ball, to Belibi, to Rida. And he plays it through to Rayouf. Rayouf goes for the shot and well. 
never going in that, was it? Now, 15 minutes left. We've absolutely lumped that ball. Not giving our strikers any chance of getting onto that. Galau, their keeper, kicks it long. Aldawi nods it down for Farouk. Allah now. And he plays it into Farouk again. A nice little bit of one-two in between them. And once again, they play it just between themselves. There are 22 people on this pitch, lads. Let someone else have a go. As they have, it's gone to Zion. And Zion crosses it into Al Nazir. And that goes into the crowd. Five minutes left. Abdul Wahab with another free kick. This time, he does force a save out of the keeper. And so we've got a corner ball. Can we at least get a goal? That at least would be nice. Nabil with the cross. Nope, Saeed heads away. And now Belibi, he's got it, come on. And what's he done there? Well, that's over. 3-0 defeat. We've been absolutely dominated on every measure there. 18 shots to our 6. 6 on target to our 3. 2.28 xg. 82% of their passes they completed. We only completed 67. And 58% of possession they had. Much, much, much work to be done here. Just one of those days. I've got to try and keep the morale up. That's all I can do. And so let's continue that. Let's have a look at the league table. And then that's where we shall leave it for today. And so, yep. That leaves us in 14th in the table. Thankfully, it looks like Porto Suez are absolutely terrible. So, hopefully, relegation shouldn't be an issue. But, you never know. We are over halfway into the season now. So, I'll come back in four or five games time. Yeah, game 22 or 23. Something like that. And we'll see what kind of a mess we are in. But that is going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. We're on 661 subs. If we can get to 700 by my birthday in July, that would be absolutely incredible. So that is the target. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And yep, guys, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Arrivederci.